What's up? What's up, you guys? So it's a little bit different setting today, and I have my good sis, my co-host for today, Miss Ashley Nicole. And so we're in LA, Los Angeles, Cali, Cali, all good stuff. Mm -hmm. And so we want to just do like a little chat with you guys about a lot of different things that are relatable to a lot of people our age. And might you guys may you know like so we're gonna talk about social media. We're gonna talk about college. And we're gonna talk about Greek life. Okay, so let's get into it. You ready? Let's get into it. All right, let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Okay, they so, do. When, well, let me ask you first. When you are on social media and you see, you know, a girl, a post or whatever, what makes you want to like it and support it? If I know the person, like, you know, I want to give a like. And I'm probably going to share it or, you know, do some, like, cute little things because, you know, I just took a known person. And then sometimes I generally do it because I like the picture. The picture is nice. You know, I don't, I try to give as much love and support because I want it too, so. Yeah, it's okay. So, Sometimes I feel like the girls be a little favoritism with their likes and their support. But, I mean, it's not to say that we want the validation or we need the validation. Yeah. But, girl, you know you work hard on your picture and you want, you know, people to see. And because it's not even about people seeing it, but right. it's like you know that's so, all. And right. they'll, they'll watch a story. They'll, they'll do everything else. But, bitch, but why you have a picture? Uh, and it's weird because we always show love like, to yes. everybody. Like, I come in liking sharing and i'm just like I'm, 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 the girls know what it's happening i'm sorry bitch i hate when somebody watch my story and they haven't liked my picture like and, and i post a picture yes. saying like new posts all that and you still didn't like it i'm like girl it's not coming to gays for me it's good it's not fair for but what is like a, a social media do and don't for you like for me, like the dude is posting in a new outfit. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's always gonna keep posting a new outfit, but like a don't would be, um, I guess, posting in a new outfit, then tagging everybody, like all the brands, knowing good and well, you really didn't buy from those brands. Mm -hmm. Like just say, I get like a Versace shirt, but bitch, I got it from Marshalls. Yeah. And I'm tagging yeah. Versace, bitch, you know you don't get it from there, so yeah. come on now. Cause I know somebody who do that all the time, and social media. This is like another part of why social media is kind of like fake. Like yeah. it's, you only show what, what you want everybody to see. Right. You're never gonna show who's gonna see on social media and show the bad parts of them anyway. Though. Yeah. I don't know so it's like it's it's like a double edged sword. Cause can you blame people for doing it? Mm -hmm. But why do you do it? Right. Okay. Well, for shoes. me, a do is like you said, posting. You know, and no clothes and you know new settings just different places and stuff like that a don't for me is don't really have any social media don'ts hmm. don't post a lot about the same situation like that makes sense mm -hmm. like, you know okay um for example like if you're posting about your birthday you know post about your birthday and then one day or like you know that that, that weekend time saying something like that but just don't keep on posting about the same things like oh over and over and over girl, they get, they get it's tired. exhausting you know what i'm saying and i do like how they came up with the photo dump thing so like yeah. if you're in one setting or one location you can just post all your pictures from that one probably you know place in one time That's so all the girls can see you know as a dump instead of just posting them i'm post this day and then post this day post this day so yes because at one point it was popular in my opinion mm -hmm. to do like the three different pictures and the mm -hmm. three different fits but then eventually i got even got tired of looking at it because it's like girls just post all in one because yeah like monica the singer oh, and i love me some monica we love girl, monica baby but she does that and of course the pictures are always even but it's like girl you could put all this on one yeah. and then you know go to the next yes. and then on feed it looks cute but yeah. i feel like the feed now i mean my favorite kind of feed is the feed that has different kind of like aesthetics mm -hmm. but it all kind of has a little correlation tied into it yeah. but not even like on like you're trying to do it because i noticed on um, some of my pictures i look on my whole entire feed and it's like 
I was wearing black and hair, black and hair. Like, all, it's like, it correlates mm-hmm. just without even me trying to do yeah. Because it's just the scenes mm-hmm. and your outfits and just different things. Yeah. So I just feel like that looks more naturally and more aesthetically pleasing now to me than forced when you really see that they took the time to post three different pictures. In 30 minutes, they get in 30 minutes. Yeah. About the same thing, though. About the same thing. <laughs> Anyways. I think social media has been messed up because of the algorithm. Oh no. yes, the algorithm. Nobody really mm-hmm. sees anybody's stuff anymore because you always see something about an ad or about this, about it. So, you know, I kind of give girls a pass sometimes when I know they don't like my pictures because it's like, you know, just because I see theirs doesn't mean I see they see mine. Yeah, you know, yes. unless I actually post on the store, like, go like my pics. And then so, they don't like and it. And then, you know, they don't like it. And it's kind of like weird. But, yeah. you know, like, if they don't see off the bed, I understand. Yeah, it's you know, definitely. You know, it's messed up. So, yeah. Okay, so you know, let's talk about it. We always have to bring the girls a game. Mm-hmm. And so, with this game, I wanted to bring in some drinks. And you're going to have to take a shot every time you've done something. So, we're going to take time to ask you the questions. Okay. And then, you know, if you did it, take a shot. Not a shot for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can go first. Okay, never had I ever... Kissed downtown at the what is it? What's the name of the car with the with the lights and stuff downtown on that room? The little tunnel down there. Um, do you know what I'm talking about? I told you. You know what I'm talking about? But I don't know. Name. Because you know, I don't know the name either. I'm like, I should be figured out. I'm gonna let him know. But um, so you know, like down there, the girls stuff go down there, like yeah. real cute and going up a little dates and stuff like that, and kiss stuff like that. Never have I ever kissed anyone down there. And why haven't it have you? Um, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Set me up. No. <laughs> I only asked because you know I, I went down there with uh, some people who but mm-hmm. we never like kissed or nothing like this. So no. No. Have I ever snuck into a boy's dorm? Girl, let me shot you. Well, you know what? I mean, I have kind of because in car, you know what I was saying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was working. Okay, I had to this. Oh, honey. Okay. If I had my ever so local. Like, oh, my girl. My girl. I have. Oh, I have. I set myself up for that, y'all. You set yourself up too much. Yes. Oh, yeah, I have to put my locals. I'm trying to take a little bit, y'all. Oh, thank you, boys, too. That girl. Mm. I wasn't expecting. It was to be taking three shots back to back. All right. Well, you took three. I took two. Oh no, three. Yes, because there's a shopping for me. Now, bitch, I ain't gonna set us up with questions like this. Alright. Girl. Have I ever. Um. Blocked somebody on social media? Because. Say something because I'm not gonna shot. Blocked somebody on social media because they didn't give me a side on it. But we both take a shot for that one. Uh, yeah, I would block you. I'm sorry. I don't care. I block you too. Okay, not on those stuff like friends or not like that. But if you like somebody I'm talking to and you try it, or like you want to talk, or no, or I want to talk to you, and no, I would, I would block you or understand the message. Nah. I want to see him, but I block you. You don't understand? Mm-hmm. Girl, we didn't talk about understanding. Because on Instagram, I don't understand the message so fast. Um, I think I seen it. I normally don't lie. I seen it, honestly. Like, I don't care. Really I don't understand people because. No. <laughs> Girl, I understand. I'm sorry. And then I don't care if you get the message notification that says this person has understood the message is unsent. I'm still gonna understand it. I'm sorry. And then, it's something that I do it all the time. I block you too, but, or unfollow. But most of the time, I will just not take it too. Because even after you block them, the message still gonna be there. Right. And I don't wanna see it, so I'm just gonna understand it. About Greek life, girls. I'm not in Greek for Sunday, but for those who may not know, my good sis is. 
<laughs> you can um, allude to the girl, so what's your I am a part of the first and the finest sorority. What they say? You understand. What they say? You hear it. You know. I, what they say? <laughs> what, she, what she is? Yeah, I know what I am. I'm like, but, Okay, so how was that for you? Like, did you already know you wanted to do that? Like, was this something that you've been planning for your whole life? Or is it something that you got to college and it kind of got you interested? Okay, honestly, when I was in, like, grade school, like, middle school, high school, I really didn't really know about it. I just knew, like, okay, with my auntie, all them and they are done. Because I went to church week, they were also in the story. So I was like, um, I know I want to do this, but I don't really know if I want to do it. And then when I got to college, I was like... I think when I, in my well, the school we go to, um, the line was not supposed to come back. So I, when I got there, I was like, am I ever gonna be able to do it? You know, I was kind of sad. I was like, should I have to, I want to do grad chapter, you know, I just don't, I'm sorry. Sorry, we so love, Morris. The we love the grad, grad chapter. The grad chapter is not my tease. I didn't see myself doing it. I wasn't gonna enjoy it, no. So um, the chapter that I am a part of did come back on campus, so I was excited about that, and I made it my first go-round, yay me, and, um, yeah, I love, I love being a part of the story, I mean, it gives you a lot of, uh, new sisters, new family, just new people, it introduces you to a lot of stuff that you weren't gonna be, you know, probably able to, you know, run it, run across if you were just, well, you know, GDI, y'all know what I mean, so, goddamn individual, I don't want to cuss on people. Girl, you know, I'm glad to say y'all know that means because good night. <laughs> feel there are stereotypes with each one of the different fraternities and sororities. And how do you feel if they are, if you feel like they are, how do you feel like you guys can help with breaking that stigma or stereotype in fraternity and sororities? I do think it's a, a stereotype, you know, with all the sororities and mm -hmm. fraternities and stuff like that because everybody knows. Well, yeah, I know y'all know what sort I'm part of. We are the first, you know? So, it's like, if you're not me or you're not the other ones, and that y'all know what I'm talking about, too. I hate to be so um, cliche, but y'all know what I'm saying. If you're not red and white or you're not pink and green, people really don't consider you mm -hmm. the top girl. I'm sorry. I love y'all. I'm just being like real. Come for my girl. Don't come for me because I'm being honest with y'all. Y'all not gonna even lie and make it seem like I'm lying. But it's true. But you know, it's true. true. Like, yeah. you know, especially like on our campus. Like, you know, it's now. Yeah, HBCUs. HBCUs. I'm saying. Yes, yeah. HBCUs, know. that's like a top two with the men. One well, with the men is about maybe three men. Well, I, I say, I say, y'all, I'm for real, for real. You know, the Qs, the Kappas. The men, they don't really. Discriminate as much. Yeah. With the girls, it's like those. Yeah, because my brother just say y'all. It's like either Delta or, you know, an AK okay. girl. And it's like with those two, well, I'm not neither, so I guess I can say the name. With, yeah, I don't know. With the other girls that's in it, like they just kind of fall in between, like fall back behind. Yeah. And even when I was growing up, those were the only two that I knew. Like, honestly, when I got to college, those were the only times that I ever heard of. Like, Honestly, when I was going up, I didn't hit on no Zeta no, or no Ishiro. Okay. okay, that's all I heard about. And it's like, that's what they taught me. So, and then when I got older, I started understanding, like, what I was taught was not too far fetched. Right. Because like, everybody else feels the same that way. Right. So, and it's just, I think, a, a Southern, a Southern raising or whatever. Um, yeah. Because I think in the North, it's popular. Um, it might, yeah. Zeta. It I think might it's very popular. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think it's just with us being growing up in the South. That's our. Yeah. Uh, background right but anyway we digress yeah. um okay so greek life um do you recommend people doing it what is your advice to somebody who is thinking about joining the sorority um i think you should do what you want to do when i say do what you want to do i mean do what you want to do i really mean that literally mean that because what aka does might not be for you what delta does might not be for you but what sg rose do might be for you what zetas do might be for you you know what i'm saying so go for what you want to go for and regardless of what everybody else says because I, I guarantee you if the sorority I'm a part of now didn't have my quality my the qualities that I wanted in a sorority I would have never joined them so do the sorority if they fit you and then if they're not Greek and you just want to go Greek because your family and friends and stuff like that don't do, it. Don't do that because at the end of the day you will not enjoy it prime example my mom been trying to she's been trying to get me to do it all of my life basically yeah. and was like you know but she never was the type to badger me about it but like she's just always still trying to throw the hints in there you know you should you don't want to do it you should not do it girl i said i know every time because imagine had i tried to do it and knowing i didn't want to do it 
and then you don't make it. Or just I don't make it, or just say I dropped the line, and then it's gonna be a whole bunch of mess. And yeah, and then your name is some negative stuff right. that you don't want to be a part of because you don't care to be a part of it. You know, so don't do it just because you in my channel. Yeah, it's not just because it's popularized or at if you're at an HBCU and you feel like that's what you need to do to get some friends, girl. No, get you, you can get you some friends that's not in, or get you some friends that's in it. Yeah. And you're still gonna be you regardless. So hey, I feel like do what you want to do, like she said, and make the choice that best makes you happy in the end. Because at the end of the day, yeah, they want you to do it and stuff, but you're gonna be the one who having to go through that. And go, go through it and go do the volunteer. Because you know, baby, being a part of sorority and fraternity is not just the cute cakewalk. You have to get up early in the morning and go to meetings and attend them all day and. Go volunteer when they need you, and you know, what I'm saying you you have a lot of it's a lot of speculations that come with being a part of the organization as well. And if you are not a person that wants to live by some rules all your life, then don't do that to yourself. I'm glad you said that because that's what I wanted to ask you too. Like, what is another thing? What are some things about being in a sorority that people may not know that is not glamorized but not talked about? Um, like basically, I just say, yeah, we have meetings all day. Don't at like. You know, don't act like you too busy. Be serious, you have to be please, serious about please. this because you have meetings all day. You have to follow proper protocol. You can't post everything that you want to post anymore because you're a part of an organization bigger than just you. You know, you can't be selfish. Yes. So, um, like I said, volunteer work. I'm volunteering on Sundays, even though my Sundays I want to go chill with my friends and go out to eat and have fun. But I have a meeting from six to six. That's twelve hour meeting. Yeah, I'm just being. I'm not. I'm being basically. I'm over exaggerating, but I'm telling you, it's that much. You know, it's a lot of things to be a part of an organization. On top of that, if you want to be an officer, myself, I I just was the officer of my chapter, and um, my position was given to another store ward because I'm going to my senior year, and I already did my one year. But when I was a part of that, I was an officer. I had to always be on call, always in my home, making sure my e I check my emails, making sure he's making sure that you know that's a lot. So if I genuinely didn't want to do it. That would have never been the best fit for me. Do you understand? So, you know, go into it with the right intentions. Don't go into yeah. it just because, oh my gosh, I'm an AKA, I'm a Delta, I'm a Fade, I'm a Zay, I'm taking pictures, da da da, I wanna be cute. Because, yeah, that's cute and fine, but if you're not doing anything in the organization, you wasted your money. And you know that it's not cheap, baby. Come on now. Kobe saved my life. Because that money that came in my pocket, it wasn't it's nearly as much as they wanted at first before Kobe. Okay. So, be considerate of that too. You're wasting your time, your money, and your freedom. Make sure you're you're doing it for the right reasons. Don't just go into it thinking one way. Because I'm telling you, every intention that you have going into the organization is gonna be so different when you actually get into a organization. You know what? I love that. Yes. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for giving me an insight about it and um the viewers an insight about yeah. what it's like to be in this world and the insides and stuff that people may not know. Yeah. So um I wanna thank you about that and I wanna I'm trying to see if there's anything I wanted to give talk to about about social media because I feel like we got into it but I don't want the girls to think that like we was just like hey and passionate. Okay, well I'll say this to start off. Uh -huh. I, I love all my girls. Everybody yes. like, girls and boys included. We love, our folks. we love our people. You know, I love we love showing support. That's why I'm gonna say number one. We love showing support. We love making sure you all know that you're beautiful. We love making sure you all know that you're worthy of you know any type of interaction on social media, you know, and I think we were elaborating more on, um, you know, just giving love and showing love because we always want to be positive. We want to be seen in a positive light at all times. We don't want people to feel like, you know, you don't matter. And then, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. but I saw this tweet. Well, it's two things that really made me want to have this conversation. I saw a tweet that was like, why is it so embarrassing to post on Instagram? And then, as far as Twitter, it was a post that was like, why do people on Twitter only support posts that already have traction on them? Yeah. And so, both of those really inspired me. Like, we need to have this conversation because it's something that people may don't even think about, but it's really disgusting, honestly, how even on Twitter, like, most people will only support, like, if they, if they already have like, one or two likes, and then they're not gonna like it because there's nobody else that's like it. But just say if it starts getting three likes, three retweets, four, five, six. Okay, let me go and start liking now because I see more girls have liked it and yeah. it's something that is worth being retweeted or liked. But just because it doesn't have as many does not mean it's not worth it. Right. Those two don't correlate to me. And so then on Instagram, I feel like people are in there supposed because of all, excuse me, on social media, it's like 
when you post a picture on Instagram, you're literally, it's like putting your stuff at the mercy of other people's yeah. opinions, other people's thoughts. And yeah, it kind of sparks insecurities in people, I feel like. Yes. And you have to definitely. definitely be a person that's securing yourself to know that, bitch, I'm good. If I get two likes or a two thousand likes or two thousand likes or a right. hundred likes, I'm great regardless. You know, um, right? Yes. And I love me regardless. So I feel like that is so important. And that is a conversation that we really are trying to get to the root of. Do not validation is validation is like cloud. It's a drug. It's like once you feel like somebody's liking or they're liking, they're liking, you know what? Then it makes you want to post more. You're gonna yeah. keep trying to get more, yeah. but then you gonna wear yourself out because it's not it's not who, who you are. It's not what's right. important to you. It's just what's important to other people and what you feel like is gonna give you that recognition and that love. But you have to find it in yourself. Yeah, I mean, I feel like social media is just a plus in life. Yes. It's, if you love yourself, social media is definitely that's, a plus. It's just extra people. It's just extra people that's looking at you because you can wake up every morning and say, I'm beautiful. Um, yes. My hair is beautiful. I love this about myself. I love this about myself. And then you post on social media and then they love it too. So it's like, okay, cool. It's right. like a little extra plus, you know? And then for those people who don't have that on social media, that is okay. And if you feel like you need to just get off social media, that is okay too. Like, nothing. Yeah. Nobody cares. Like, right. do what's best for you. Like, and then embrace that. Like whether you're getting a hundred or a thousand, like exactly. I feel like that means nothing at the grand scheme of things because those lights can go away tomorrow, and then right. what will you have? Nothing. It's right. all about the three. What's in the real world? What's in here? In your spirit? In your inside? In my exactly. Opinion. I mean, no, I really, I agree with you most definitely. I just feel like people don't need to. I feel like nowadays, like our generation, we do seek for valid, we seek validation of others more than ourselves, like yes. we used to. And that's something I'm trying to normalize back into my life, my yes. life and my friends' life and stuff like that. Like, I know, for example, like my friends, I had told my friends the other day, I was like, girl, I know I'm probably messaged you a thousand times for, with different pictures in one day. She could post like five pictures. I'm a heart eye, all five of them pictures. You know, just show her, like, girl, you know, you don't need nobody else hacking you up. You got your girls hacking you up. You, yeah. you got me hacking you up. It's just like, I feel like we seek all that validation from people that don't matter. And then you get all wrapped up in it because it's like, what if they don't like one picture? Or what if they don't say? Or what if they don't yeah. like, you know? And it's just like, girl, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Because the right people seen it. The right people like it. The right the people, people come in. They really love you. The right people that really love you genuinely did what they had to do. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's like, Stop making it seem like everybody else's opinion matters because it doesn't. Because who are they? They are nobody to you, literally. At the end of this, that patient get hacked today, and then those followers will be gone. What we have? What would you have? Or yeah. if something like happened to you today, and would you really be able to call on those likes and follows to help you? Exactly. No. It's no. just a, you know nothing. None of that matters. And once and honestly, once all that once all that doesn't matter to you anymore, the likes will gravitate. Yes. The comments will gravitate to you. Yes. The actual, the actual love and support that you really wanted, and the point, at the point you are forcing it, yeah, it's gonna genuinely happen for you because it's like when you stop forcing it, God is gonna allow all that to gravitate to your life, Girl, and that's just so all. That's a basic life lesson. Once you stop caring about it and worrying about it so much. God that's makes manifest. it so, he makes it so, you know, in your life. That's he brings it in your life. That's like manifesting. When yes. you are, when you want something to happen for you, like ask and believe and receive and you yes. ask for it, you believe that it's happening. In believing that it's happening, you have to have the faith to not even think about it, to yes. detach from it. That's what detaching is. Don't even think about it. Just literally focus on the things that will put you in alignment with that. Yes. And so with that, likes and comments, you're then you're not thinking about the likes and comments anymore. So you're thinking about self love. Yes. And we're focusing on self love and loving ourselves. So that means people are starting to gravitate to like it and comment because it's like, I see how going. Right. Like, it's it's like, yes. like, the stuff she posted about, let me just like this. Let me comment. Right. See, I think this is pretty. Because you know it's gonna be gene it's gonna be natural. Because yes. you're naturally feeling good. Like your body, your mind, and once you start feeling good on your side, your outside is going to just double that because it's like yes. this is what the this is what we see. So honestly, yes, yeah. stop worrying because you have no reason to worry. Like, and I'm so glad that we came back and circled around on it because this part of the conversation I really enjoyed so much mm -hmm. more because in the beginning, the kind of thing like we were like trying to tell the girls we need the validation, but I feel like this will show the girls what we really were trying to say yes. in the conversation. So, yes, I want to say thank you to you for coming on the show, Ash. I love you. Thank you. I love and, you more. And I want to say, you guys, you can catch Let's Talk About It every Tuesday on Sound on the Hill. And I'm Philip Jordan, and this has been Let's Talk About It. Let's have a chat, baby.